I've always been very curious to know how Saint-Saëns played the piano. Did you ever hear him play Mozart? Oh, yes, yes. He played for me the four scherzo of Chopin when he allowed me to visit him, you know, when I was quite young, 17 years old. He received me very charmingly in spite of being called a very rude man, you know. He was uh, famous for it, for being rather rude in general, you know, like Brahms. But he was quite charming, and the first thing he told me, oh, for me the best work of Chopin is a poor scherzo, sat down to the piano and played it, and played it technically perfectly, a little bit too quickly for my taste. Well, then I heard him again, and he gave a public concert in a small hall in Paris. Uh, he played two pianos with the very great French pianist of that time, Planté, Francis Planté. He's forgotten now, mm. but he was then considered the, the, the top, the greatest French pianist, mm. you see, for quite a few years, many years. But he was retired then, he was about 85 or something. Charles was, was more or less the same age, and they played uh, Saint-Saëns compositions and the Mozart sonata for two pianos and what, what else, uh, I don't quite remember. I mean, mainly Saint-Saëns, you know? And that was a very funny thing because they, while they were playing in front of the audience, they were talking to each other. <laughs> but you see, it was a time, you see, now you are the critics and then the public shocked if one applauds. Uh, after a, a movement of a sonata, a symphony, you know. Then the public even was able to say after a nice phrase, right in the middle of, of a movement of a sonata, they say, oh, charmant, oh, c'est délicieux, comme c'est joli, bravo. Well, the two old men, while playing, were all the time complimenting each other loudly, <laughs> when one plays a variation very nice, it's ah, oh, tu l'as fait très bien alors, oh, oh, tu as travaillé, you know. It was wonderful. 